In this video I'll take a look at this Canon FD 100mm f2.8 short telephoto vintage camera lens and how it performs on a Lumix S-series full-frame camera. Hi guys, my name is Matti Sulanto, I'm a photographer and a Lumix ambassador. And in this video I'll take a look at this Canon FD 100mm f2.8 lens from the 1970s and how it performs on a modern Lumix S1 series digital full-frame camera. This lens is not mine, it's on loan from camerastore.com. However, they are not sponsoring this video in any way. They're just kind enough to let me borrow some of uh, these old lenses and sometimes old film cameras. I know the owners of the store and they are passionate about uh, vintage cameras and uh, uh, lenses. And it's also a very good place to buy this uh, old uh, film gear if you're interested. Now let's look at this uh, Canon FD 100mm f2.8 lens. But before I talk about the lens, I want to say a few words about the Canon FD mount. The Canon FD mount only ran from 1971 to 1987. So only 16 years, which is quite a short time for a lens, a lifetime for a lens mount. The FD mount is slightly different uh, from most camera lens mounts because when you mount the lens, you will not rotate the lens, you will only rotate the ring around the lens mount. And if you have never used the FD mount before, it may feel a bit tricky, but once you get used to it, it's like a, a, any other lens mount and very easy to use. To mount this old Canon FD lens onto my Lumix S1 camera, I have an um, adapter from Canon FD mount to L mount, and this adapter is also from camerastore.com. They have a good selection of adapters too. And now about the lens itself. This version of the FD 100 f2.8 is the third version of this lens and it was in production from 1976 to 1980. And the price when this lens was new was 31,000 yen. And if I use the current exchange rate it makes it about 250 euros. But I guess if you want to have the like the real value um, in today's currency, what the lens was in 1976, you have to multiply that by about five. So the actual value of this lens in 1976 was about 1,250 euros in today's money. But before I talk more about the lens itself, let me share a few pictures that I shot on this lens and the Lumix S1 camera. I hope you enjoyed the pictures and now let's talk about the build quality of this lens, which is quite awesome as it used to be back then because they only used metal and glass back then, no plastic parts. This lens is quite compact, partly because of the relatively modest maximum aperture for such a lens. So all in all the build quality feels really really good. The focus ring is super super smooth with the right kind of resistance to it and nice hard stop at both ends of the focusing scale. The aperture ring has this little bit rattling noise, which is typical for many Canon FD lenses, but the ring itself feels solid and has nice half a stop clicks between the apertures. And the aperture ring also has the letter A, which you use whenever you want to use the shutter priority or the fully automatic P mode on your Canon film camera. The lens uh, or the ring locks to the A position and there's a small button then that you can use to release the lock. This lens weighs in about 358 grams and it feels a little bit heavy for its size, but that's because of the 
build materials, only metal and glass. The filter size is 55 millimeters, which is a standard for many Canon FD lenses. The optical construction is relatively simple, only five elements in five groups. And the letters SSC, they stand for Canon's Super Spectra Coating, which is a lens coating, of course. The maximum aperture is f2.8 and the minimum aperture is f22. And the minimum focusing distance is one meter, which is quite typical for a short telephoto like this. The optical performance of this lens is pretty awesome considering it's over 40 years old design and such a simple optical formula also, only five elements in five groups. This lens is very very sharp already wide open, but you get a slight bump in the sharpness and contrast when you stop down to f4, but beyond that you will only increase the depth of field, you will not get any more sharpness, it's really really sharp at f4 and any aperture uh, higher than that, except maybe the f22 when the diffraction softens the picture, of course. The bokeh is very very nice and smooth, probably not the smoothest bokeh, but still very nice and pleasing looking. There are no visible distortions and no chromatic aberrations to uh, distract the viewer. And now let's take a look at some more pictures that I shot on this Canon FD 100mm f2.8 lens mounted on my Lumix S1 camera. I hope you enjoyed the second set of pictures also and if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing to my channel and uh, if you enjoy this video a lot <laughs> also please consider to buy me a coffee there's a link down below that would mean a lot to me and it helps me to make more of these videos for you the price for a lens like this is around 160 euros or US dollars, depending on the condition of the lens. And I think this is a fantastic value for money. You get a really well built and sharp lens for a very little money. Highly recommend it if you like fully manual, manual focus lenses. Thank you so much for watching and before you go you may want to check out some other my some of my other film camera vintage uh, camera lens reviews up here. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.